a uh, Chicagoan uh, coming up with hologram Mike Ross wearing the fresh chain. I see you out here, HMR. Shout outs to uh, some of the Midwest boys. All right, up against we've got Ram versus Happy Chaos. Not not anymore the latest DLC character, but one uh, one that has shown their stripes in the being a threat. So five, 52 red with the Ram with all. Okay. If you do aces to be able to get out some of these situations from Happy Chaos. But if you force this character to block, they are in a lot of trouble. Happy Chaos' offense goes dummy, but uh, that defense is uh, not fun at all. No. And then you see two reds kind of find a way of getting out of it little by little, not taking like huge damage. But first big clean hit. Small jump from Hallback to Mike Ross. Out of bullets. Got to be careful. Here we go. We're going to get that conversion off the explosion. Going to see a wall break here. No, going to keep that Oki going. Want that corner pressure for sure. Doesn't want to reset the situation. JS lands sword set. Oliver and Mike Ross gets one in the chamber. There's a couple more. Gonna be able to keep that long range game going if they want to. The crossover though, it's the Red has been doing a great job of just staying active. Blow up the toes as well. That's a big thing. Just take advantage of those knockdowns. Really just take it to Happy Chaos. Once you do get in, don't let this character out. Oh, that's a huge kick. It's a conversion off of there. Gonna get the corner with the curse, and now we're gonna see that big damage off of here. Has the meter. No, no, instead of going for overdrive break, just punching it out. Back to cursing, back to just doing their thing. Red Matt Thang saying, Hologram Mike Ross firing away. JS though, such a good button for Ram, interrupting Mike Ross from the skies. No surprise, wall break. Mike Ross with plenty of meter. See if they decide to cash out. I can't imagine why they would. Yeah. Instead, concentration super, a lot of damage on the table, Hat didn't want to give 52 Red a chance to get any momentum going. I understand wholeheartedly. We get to the point where shit might be a factor, YRC, nice, catching the roll through, this is big, with the knockdown. A lot of trouble. Hologram Mike Ross trying to bubble shield out, gets lifted up by the sword and done. 52 Red, surviving the gauntlet there. Yeah, like I said, took a chance with it, right? Did a good job of just like finding that point to get in and made that pressure count. Happy Chaos is really gonna, without YRC, gonna have to take that kind of pressure. So we're gonna see a swap for Hologram Mike Ross. Yeah. Going to the Geo, the Happy Chaos did pretty solid, but just couldn't close it out. So yeah. I was making yeah, so that change early. This is the character that I know HMR has been playing since the game dropped. Uh -huh. So this is the comfort pick. This is the one that says, okay, I'll try out its pools. I'll try out Happy Chaos once. See if it, you know, if I'm feeling it. If I'm not, I have the Geo to go back to. And completely different play style now, right? Like yep. totally different character. For sure. <laughs> Never, never gonna be too easy with Ramos Ball with such strong buttons, great anti airs, and just that range difference. 50 Red already taking the burst out from Hologram Mike Ross. Oh, I see my turn, please. 50 Red. Gonna continue where they left off. Pseudo DP misses. Mike Ross needs to find a way in. The 6P says no. One of the best 6Ps. The goal for us to stay in the corner. We're gonna get the RC to keep pressure going. Yup, gonna throw the sword here. Make Midi gets a hit. And with this, this should be the round for 52 Red. Not even, no wall break needed. Just the standard finish from 52 Red. Mike Ross, open it up with the 2D here. Huge counter hit, got the extension. The hair salon, going hey. off. Nice finish to Half-Life gone, gets the wall break, positive bonus. So this is a big part. Can make a nice conversion and move out, or at the very least, make an escape with YRC. Speaking of YRC, oh. nice block for punish though. Uh, unfortunately, still got the resource out. Dog Toxic connects to RC for the pop up. And again, the extension. All right, hologram Mike Cross, another wall break. Has the opportunity here to get the round, but has to be careful because all Ram needs is one solid hit. We're getting that full conversion and then letting it fall down. Keep that pressure going. HMR close to have reverse back. Does YRC and the reversal throw. Dash up, just chuck him. I like that. Taking your turn back with authority. Forcing enough to get two red. Now we're tied up in rounds. We gotta watch out, cause you know, again, Rambo thought round starts so potent with the gold burst, all that glitters. Sometimes it is gold. 52 red, showing the worth of that gold right here, using meter to go far. Big punish on the attempt for Monogram Mike Ross to escape. And now they're looking really rough for this game too. Okay, wait. Okay, Mike Ross found a way in. Found the hit into the cross up, adding up little damage. Making it count, this should be a big, big opportunity with the wall break. Has opportunity to get some meter hologram micro if he can cash out, could be huge. But there's a clean hit from 52 Red. Yo! Oh my goodness, wake up throw! 
Mike Ross right, still in it. A double? Are we going to get a triple? Bartender. What's it going to be? No, Blue RC. Oh, the block. Really nice here. Getting close to chip territory. And there's the grab to finish. And Hologram Mike Ross has it up one to one. It's such an important statement as a Giovanna player to, again, earn the respect right. to be able to just point blank death like that. Yeah. Let's rock. That was a little scary though. Could have been a early, over a little earlier. Had a meter for like RC on the grab. Little things like that. Maybe you don't want to make the drop or just keep a meter for pressure. But either way, I'm gonna Mike Ross getting the mix going with just the empty jumps, the throws, and all these little things adding up. Well, Mr. Red trying to add two at the moment, but I'm gonna Mike Ross been making a statement. All tied up here in game three. Double dash four. Dog toxic for the knockdown. Close slash. Oh my goodness, he's earned so much respect. He can just. Dash right in 52 Red's face. R slash connects the slide in. Hologram Mike Ross has slowed things down and shifted it to his face. Yeah, for sure. Again, that's just nice offense. Oh, opportunity for a huge hit, but still gets a small knockdown. That's not too bad. You put in Ram in the corner here without any burst, without any meter to escape. So it's just looking really sharp here with all this advantage pressure. Nice block on the, the dust again, though. 52 Red hasn't been getting caught by the dust, but. Has plenty of help to try to make up. UK double. There's the burst from Mike Ross to eject, but I'm out of here. Okay, get the sword back. Good opportunity. Counter it on the last hit. This is going to be great for the Tourette. Oh no, unfortunately, Hologram Mike Ross gets out of the corner from that. Still, the Tourette has all the resources to go back to the corner with the pressure. Oh. Nice jump out. Oh boy. What a jump out from Hologram Mike Ross. But the Tourette using the burst aggressively. The pseudo DP. I grab Mike Ross, looking to close the door. You gotta be careful with swinging. Yeah, you saw, you didn't want to press any buttons. He gets hit low. Speaking of lows, go for it again, all right. With the Tourette answering back. We've been a competitive set so far, but now we're gonna see who can go up two to one and have that slight advantage. Cross up, I grab Mike Ross, starting off two or three, really aggressively. 5K might have wanted a dash there, but did not get it for sure. Okay. BRC, the blue stuff, coming right in. Red up back, he finds a big hit. You gotta respect a little bit of that. Does it continue the Rekka? Oh, I like that. Hologram Mike Ross sees the turn, takes it, empty jump throw. OTG, not gonna go for it. That's a block there. Hologram Mike Ross, that huge healthy lead, has burst as well, just in case. Okay. Is it there to get out of the combo? Gonna be able to dash forward, but the far slash, heavy slash sequence and the pseudo DP closes it out for game three. Yeah, great answer here. Like even if it's blocked in the air, you're not gonna get punished for it and you're gonna be sitting pretty. So good just reactions, Hologram Mike Ross with that spacing, waiting for it to go up two to one here. The Tourette has been getting some good hits, has been getting some offense of their own, but Hologram Mike Ross is just feeling at home right now with their Geo. Yeah, it's the switch that's worked out so well for them. They're fixing the off of the big 2D counter hit at the wall, gonna make a fall. Hologram Mike Ross is just on a Forward moving truck. Mr. Two Red has not been able to stop it. Mr. Red got a chance here. But that the big ram pressure, forcing the burst out of hologram Mike Ross is the super. Even though it's plus frames, you can be you can land so far from your opponent, it doesn't really matter. And they see to take advantage of that, get a big knockdown. They gotta respect hologram Mike Ross does have a lot of meter here. And getting a hit or any kind of uh, special just to keep the pressure going. Oh, oh, but his dad just gets hit by the explosion. Not dead yet, but does with the 2K again. Sword set 2K, eating up Hologram and Mike Ross' defense once again. Now, 52 Reds, a round away from sending us the game pot. But this is a position that 52 Reds is going to thrive in. Having that range of the, the far slash, but now without a sword, it's going to be a little scary. Gave it up and has to wait a little bit. Gonna let Hologram Mike Ross have a big turn. Oh, wait a minute. Post slash combo. 6 H the dust charge version. Gonna take him to the skies. Oh, got the burst out though. So Victor Red, even though they didn't get the damage, still got the resource, and that's really important. Oh, the cross up. Big chance here for Victor Red. Gonna RC, keep it going. We can see a wire C. There it is immediately. Oh, JS, the falling addition. So good with Ram the Ball, just covering a lot of spaces where their opponent wants to move uh -huh. and approach, and it just locks it down, especially when it's low to the ground like that. Yeah. But it's good for the Red to real situation. So many times after a YRC hologram, Mike Ross will get a button out and then go for that grab. The up back worked out really well. 
That's data for hologram Mike Ross. Maybe be a little less predictable with the throws. Be cautious and make it count. So there's the goal burst. He got too close. Back off. And now the pressure is on for Tourette. He's going to spend all that cash just to get that wrist gate blowing. Big red in the house. Don't get hit. It's going to hurt. Don't open that door. Wrist gate is mad high at the moment. Don't do it. That's not Domino. Oh, found a hit. With the super, it's gonna get nice damage. Not close enough to the wall for the break. But hologram Mike Ross still has the resources for another one. Watch so far, trying to space it out. Not get caught up in that new game. Went for the air super again and just kind of reached into the well one too many times. Still gets a counter hit on the H. And here we go, throw game established. Coach Slash, there's that strike throw mix. Getting a big hit and now we got the PRC. And nice DP, your extension on your hitbox. On your hurt box even gonna get caught out by the soul Nashenshe. And now Hologram Micross one round away from advancing on a th big 3-2 win. This will be really big for HMR, especially because they were playing Happy Chaos in game one. So time, not necessarily a throwaway game, but playing out of deficit when switching to the Geo. However, Big Two Reds not going anywhere. That's gonna be YRC, get out, nice BRC, mix, and then close slash again. It's gonna be dangerous territory. Kicking to red. Gold burst again. It connects. YRC. A YRC. A get off of me immediately. And the falling JS again connects for 52 red. Hologram mm -hmm. Mike Ross in a ton of trouble. Gets thrown. Or set to left the next. Hero burst wants to end this now. Threat with a small life lead. And the far slash gets to hit down on the final round between these two players to make it more through this winner side on pools. This is so important right now, just for momentum and pool play and to continue on that winner side. Andrew Mankoff facing things out, gets clipped first, and the Hallmark JS again put him in a lot of trouble. Counter hit, the last one lets it rock. That's gonna be a huge ram combo. Finish with stringing down the guillotine, and that free threat just one good confirm away from ending this set. Slash punish on the 2 one 4 k whip. DRC, 52 Red holding it together. DRC and the punish off the throw whip with the 2H. Raise him up. Yep. Put this man on a pedestal. 52 Red, that clutch BRC. That throw whip you just saw for free. Get that big hit. And what a close one. After two 3-0s, and then we lead into that set that was just such a nail biter. Both players just scrapping so hard. But that last round, those counter hits, from 52 red, Hologram Micross just melted, malfunctioned in his program. And unfortunately, the hologram is gone. Yeah, faded, fizzled out, didn't have enough juice to keep going all the way through. And, you know, I gotta give it to 52 red. Stayed active, even when they were losing momentum, they stayed active and was able to continually claim the airspace away from 52, mm -hmm. uh, from Hologram Mike Ross. Didn't see a lot of air to air situations. Difficult, obviously. When you're playing against Ram and your Geo, right? Like, I don't have a lot of buttons to challenge, but the falling JS, that introduction into the repertoire for 52 Reds movement, got a lot of big dividends and shifted the momentum plenty of times in their favor. No, big time. It was just good to see great use of resources from both. I mean, the goal burst helped a lot. Landing so many of those, and just giving Ram all this bar, just to guarantee that she's gonna get pressure going and almost bring it to the corner. It was just, little decisions like that has been, except